in this video we are going to discuss about NAT NAT is nothing but network address translation so we are going to learn about this network address translation as configured on Cisco routers is common in all networks and you also see the first time users of NAT will be uh, finding it difficult to grasp and also difficult to create and understand the configuration of NAT but actually when you when you look into the basic concepts of NAT it is very easy to understand the basic concepts and it is very simple so if you see that the NAT address if you clearly here NAT which is network address translation allows the host that does not have the valid registered IP address to communicate with the other host on the internet and also NAT has gained widespread acceptance that the majority of the companies or organizations in the enterprise networks today use private IP addresses and also in the network they use small block of public IP addresses by using with this NAT translating between the two here that means private and public IP addresses and also you see that this feature that allows internal network of any organization to appear to be using a different IP addresses space and also from the outside than what it is actually using. So here it is very clear that this feature allows the internal network of any organization to appear to be using a different IP addresses space that means it will be switching between IP address public IP and private IP and also from the outside that is what actually it is using. So if you see here that the NAT allows an organization to use private addresses that clearly are not globally routable and yet to connect that means this private IP addresses are not globally routable. So these are since these are not globally routable yet to connect to the internet by these private addresses by switching between public IP and private IP is used here. So it is into the globally routable addresses that means this private IP addresses will be will be switching it to the globally routable IP addresses and also the beauty of NAT is that the hosts on the internal network using this IP addresses then communicate to the outside world do not have to convert into the other IP addresses that means if you can clearly see that that this NAT is that host in the internal network using the NAT to communicate to outside world so that means this NAT is used by the internal internal network host to communicate with the external network host so this NAT is used by changing its form of IP addresses that means to from private IP addresses to globally routable addresses so that the communication between the internal host and with the external host will be happening with this NAT concept. So this is about the NAT and we will be discussing about the NAT types and also about the disadvantages and advantages of NAT in the next videos.